Welcome to the Linear Technology LTC2876 and LTC2877 Profibus transceivers video product training. Today you will be introduced to both of these special RS45 transceivers which were specifically designed and tested to meet the latest Profibus IEC specification. You'll also learn about how Profibus differs slightly from RS45 and why you can't simply use any RS45 transceiver in any Profibus system. The LTC2876 and LTC2877 are exceptionally rugged RS45 transceivers that target Profibus DP systems. Whether transmitting, receiving, in standby, or powered off, the LTC2876 and LTC2877 tolerate plus or minus 60 volts on their bus pins, eliminating common damage due to transmission line faults. Incredibly high ESD protection guarantees the LTC2876 and LTC2877 can withstand plus or minus 52 kilovolt HBM on the transceiver pins without latch up or damage. All other pins are protected to plus or minus 15 kilovolt HBM. The devices are also robust to electrical fast transients, or EFTs, and pass the highest level recognized in the IEC standard. Level 4 plus or minus 2 kilovolts without any external protection. An extended plus or minus 25 volt input common mode range and full fail safe operation improve data communications reliability in electrically noisy environments and in the presence of ground loop voltages. Although Profibus DP only defines up to 12 megabit per second data rates, the LTC2876 and LTC2877 operate at up to 20 megabits per second. The LTC2876 and LTC2877 are functionally very similar. The LTC2877 just adds a 1.65 volt to 5.5 volt logic supply, convenient for interfacing to low voltage controllers. The LTC2876 is available in an 8 pin 3mm by 3mm DFN or MSOP package, while the LTC2877 is available in a 10 pin 3mm by 3mm DFN or MSOP package. The faster, simpler Profibus DP standard was born in 1993 from the slower, more complex Profibus FMS or Fieldbus Message Specification parent standard. Profibus DP also has a younger sibling or derivative standard, Profibus PA or Process Automation which uses Manchester bus powered transmission, adding power over the bus and making it well suited for intrinsic safety applications in hazardous environments. Otherwise, Profibus DP is the most widely used version of Profibus today, probably because its plug and play nature, flexibility, and cost effectiveness are attractive in the majority of field bus applications. From the management of sensors and actuators in an industrial plant, to communication with flow meters out in the rail yard, Profibus DP decentralizes I.O. cards, or masters, from controllers and brings them closer to sensors and actuators, or slaves, resulting in numerous installation and operational benefits. All Profibus versions employ serial, bi-directional, multi-drop communications. Profibus DP adopted much of the RS-45 standard, but added a few more restrictions. First, 120 ohm shielded twisted pair cables have become the normal recommendation for RS-45 systems. Profibus DP, however, recommends 150 ohm shielded twisted pair, necessitating the use of different and, in most cases, new cables. To minimize signal reflections, RS-45 installations typically use a single 120 ohm termination resistor at both ends of the bus whereas Profibus DP recommends a 172 ohm termination network at both ends of the bus. In the figure, you can see that two 390 ohm bus biasing resistors are used in conjunction with the 220 ohm termination resistor for Profibus DP. The effective differential resistance of this termination network is 172 ohms, which is not a perfect match for the 150 ohm cable, resulting in a slightly underdamped network. In most general purpose RS-45 transceivers, pin A is the non-inverting receiver input and non-inverting driver output, and pin B is the inverting receiver input and inverting driver output, relative to the receiver output and driver input. However, the Profibus standard describes the bus polarity in such a way that pins B and A are exactly the opposite of this.
Differential driver output voltage, or VOD, is perhaps the most misinterpreted or most intentionally ignored specification in Profibus DP's physical layer. RS-45 specifies that the VOD between the A and B lines shall be 1.5 volt to 5 volt peak differential, measured at the driver terminals with a 54 ohm resistor between A and B. However, Profibus DP specifies that the VOD shall be 4 volts to 7 volts peak to peak differential, measured at the far end of the cable, with termination at each end. Clearly, these requirements are quite different, so be wary of the all-too-common Profibus compatible RS-45 transceiver that only specifies a VOD minimum value, for example 2.1 volts, without a maximum value. The best way to ensure Profibus DP VOD compliance is to attest the transceiver with a Profibus load. The figure shows how the LTC2876 and LTC2877 are tested with a Profibus DP load and some series resistance to simulate cable losses, where the driver output voltage, the blue curve, is generated from measurements taken at the end of the cable, A prime and B prime, to ensure the Profibus DP specification is truly met. Here is the eye diagram of a 12 megabit per second signal from the circuit we saw in the previous slide, except an actual 100 meter Profibus cable was used instead of simulated cable resistance. The top yellow eye diagram is the differential driver output voltage taken at the output pins, PB and PA, of the LTC2876 and LTC2877, while the bottom red eye diagram is the differential driver output voltage taken at the far end of the cable, which we're calling V prime and A prime. The clean, wide open eye diagrams reveal that the LTC2876 and LTC2877 both have low jitter, low distortion, minimal time variation at zero crossing, low sensitivity to timing errors, and plenty of opportunities to sample the Profibus data with high signal to noise ratio. Here are some more examples that further demonstrate the LTC2876 and LTC2877's performance. The first graph shows that the typical driver differential output voltage never exceeds the 7 volt Profibus limit, regardless of what kind of supply or load is used, and that operation is guaranteed down to 3 volts for RS-45. The second graph shows that the power supply current draw at 3.3 volts is about half that at 5 volt operation, which never exceeds more than 50 milliamps. The LTC2876 and LTC2877 single-handedly blanket market requirements with exceptionally high levels of electrical protection. We already discussed how the plus or minus 60 volt fault protection, plus or minus 52 kilovolt ESD protection, plus or minus 25 volt common mode range, and plus or minus 2 kilovolt EFT protection all guard against various threats. The LTC2876 and LTC2877 also employ 240 millivolts of hysteresis centered around zero volts to help preserve duty cycle for small amplitude signals with slewed edges. Under fault conditions, full failsafe operation over the entire plus or minus 25 volt common mode range guarantees the receiver output will be in a logic one state when the inputs are shorted, left open, or terminated but not driven. The picture shows an unprotected LTC2876 struck repeatedly with 26 kilovolts from an ESD gun using air discharge to illustrate the strike energy, and is a testament to how rugged these parts are. The LTC2876 and LTC2877 are designed to be true Profibus compatible transceivers, tested using Profibus loads and defined per exact specifications from Profibus IEC 61158-2. Similarly, the LTC2876 and LTC2877 can also be used in 5V or low-power, low-swing, 3V RS-45 applications, since they have also been tested using RS-45 loads and defined per exact specifications from TIA EIA 485-A. The circuit shown exemplifies just one of many interesting types of Profibus applications. Here, the LTM2892 6-channel digital isolator galvanically isolates the LTC2876 and the Profibus bus from the rest of the system, breaking any ground loops that may have existed. 
The LTC2876 and LTC2877 have unique features and benefits that will help you implement robust Profibus master and slave devices. For more information on these devices, including the datasheet and samples, visit Linear Technologies website at www.linear.com or contact your local Linear Technology sales office. And as always, we thank you for your interest in Linear Technologies LTC2876 and LTC2877 Profibus RS45 transceivers.